Today we will continue our read aloud series for Black History Month by shining the spotlight on this legendary opera singer, her name, Marian Anderson. With a nickname like Baby Contralto, Marian always had a future in opera. She started singing with the church choir in her hometown of Philadelphia when she was only six years old. The congregation wanted to help cultivate Marian's natural talent, so they raised funds to get her voice lessons. By the 1930s, Marian was performing at big venues and famous institutions in the United States and Europe often as the first woman or African-American to do so. In 1935, she was invited to the White House to sing for President and First Lady Franklin and Eleanor Roosevelt. She was the first African-American to receive such an honor. This, however, did not stop discrimination from affecting her career. In 1939, she was barred from performing at Constitution Hall in Washington, D.C. When Eleanor Roosevelt found out, she invited Marion to sing at the Lincoln Memorial on Easter Sunday. Marion sang in front of a crowd of 75,000 people and was broadcast live across the United States to millions by radio. Marion stayed in the national spotlight for many more years. In 1955, she became the first African American to perform with the New York Metropolitan Opera. She delivered the national anthem at President John F. Kennedy's inauguration. He later awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She participated in the Civil Rights Movement and sang at the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. Marion was a trailblazer and a leader in her field with a long respected career. With her voice, she reached people all around the world. And when faced with adversity, she rose above it.